What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins Part 73. We are here in the dirty back alley. Why are we here? Because of this mission called Unbound. We have to find this mystery man called Wilhelm Madon. And um, see what he wants, I guess. Let's go. Um... Notes acquired from the dead, terrified adventurers have directed you to this unassuming door. The house is marked with the initials VM. There is no answer. Ah. Uh, open up the door. I would like to speak with a man named Wilhelm Madon. I'm here to discuss the stories of Gexang, and I'm not leaving until you come out. Grey Warden, oh, isn't it? Strange you would force such a visit in a time of blight. I suppose I am used to inspiring a different kind of seeker. Is there a real Gexang to even find? Inevitably. If drive and foolishness mark a seeker adequate for my purposes... But then there's you. Eyes are on you from a very high vantage, Grey Warden. I cannot hide in your wake, but I will not be a footnote. Witness Gax King! I must... Just be done. Now you fall! Oh, there's a demon. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Shall be done. <laughs> You're not gonna stop me, bro. Especially when I can literally just. No like, shall be I don't know. Bring you in place. Shall be done. So far, Scream for mercy! You Heal you up. Shall be done. It is begun. Here I am. Okay, you are gonna use it. I shall do it. There it goes. It is begun. It is begun. I shall have this individual has a lot of health. Now that's interesting. Um, let's use a lesser potion. How come there's no music? <laughs> Just pushed out, huh? That's happened once before. I still remember my first battle. <laughs> but not big deal. Um, I want you to start healing. Just by regen wise. Heal, please. And then we should use a potion. As you say. How much health we got said yes. Now you die. As you said. Quickly. Now we do battle. It's a good thing there's only one enemy, because we'd be in trouble otherwise. Shall we compete for points? Oh, oh shit. I didn't say to miss. I said to miss. And I'll drink the potion, Sablon.
It'll have to go. I love this game. Thank goodness, I have a bunch of potions. Heals ten. A delirium potion. Nothing crazy about this fight. Just as a quick note, I keep running out of mana, right? And my willpower is the attribute of 49. That's insane. Just... Just for, like, word of mouth. I, I, I have a lot of mana. I have more mana than I do health by, like, almost double the number, as you see. 424, and my health is 226. Like, kind of ridiculous. And we run out of mana constantly in this fight. Fun, no? I am ready. Um, I get a drink. Apparently not. I shall do it. We must fight the last I need to sip, 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 and sip. And then I'm gonna use the less of the potion. Don't freeze him. I shall do it. Shall be done. Finally. Oh, he's dead. Talk about a hassle. Um, I guess the quest is done. Wow, thanks. Hello, what do we have here? This is just a sword. That's pretty good. Requires 31 strength and restriction of a warrior. I might give that to, um, Alistair if it's good enough. Hello. <laughs> yes. Let's do a comparison for my gloves. Okay. So just a little bit of damage overall, or just a 20% more cold damage. <sighs> Hear me out. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great. However, I do a lot of cold damage, and I already do cold damage with my staff, so I technically would do less damage. However, giving this to somebody else would prove more beneficial, I think than myself. But I'm not saying it's bad. It's a good pair of gloves. They are. They're good pairs. Good pairs. Um, and yeah, that's all there is here, right? Yeah, just the missing elves. And that's for the lands meet. That's correct. Can we just leave? Oh, we actually have to go to the city map. Little zone. All right, so that's done and taken care of. We got a cool weapon out of it. That's fine. Uh, at this point, we're going back to the Arl of Redcliffe's estate to get ready for this lands meet, which is, I'm assuming, what we're doing. And the music's back. That's weird. I guess there was a weird glitch for that place. <laughs> All right. Quick things first. Straight up, I can't give you the Imperial Edge or the Keening Blade, but where is... There you are. Ah, oh, 11.2, 10.5. Can it be upgraded? Not that good. This, however, we would have to compare some stuff in here. Six damage overall for... I mean, six attack overall is pretty good. The three damage overall compared to four damage only against Darkspawn is... It's, uh, it's fine. This has more armor penetration, more willpower and cunning in those, but you get the stamina regen. Essentially, this weapon is a rework. But it is very good. Because uh, obviously I've just transferred these runes over to the other sword, right? So overall, I do three cold damage to everybody compared to four just dark spawn damage. Willpower and Cunning are fine. They're not the most important thing. But they're fine. Did I not give you how Shield? I thought I did. You should be using that. And you should be using King Kaelin's Breastplate as well. Forgot to give you that, apparently. Oopsies. 
So Imperial's Edge we definitely don't need, I think. Oh, uh, gloves. What do you have? 20 electricity damage instead. And win? Right, you're using those. Let's just give you this. And then Alistair can use this now? You can. And it's better for you anyway. 3.25 compared to 6.1. Eh, change my mind. It's still not that good. Junk it. Imperial Edge will junk, I think. Nobody's gonna use it. Is, um... My dwarves aren't here. That sucks. Oh well. So for now then, we won't switch the weapons. Um, just this. I want that active. I think we pretty much are ready to go, I think. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I've been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Well, if you must know, Loghain was involved with the slave trading of elves. It was quite something. However, the elves could not be saved. However, I did stop them from becoming slavers any longer. And the people that were doing the enslaving were particularly the Tevinta slavers, if you must know. Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loghain. We must end the civil war quickly. What the blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Sounds like a plan. Bjorten, Alistair. I hope Eamon doesn't... It Go to the landsmeet. Finds me chambers. Beach. Um, and where the hell is lands meet chambers? Ah. Maker, he probably does, doesn't he? I can't teleport from here, huh? All right. So we definitely need to bring Alistair. That's a given. All right, so yeah, he's already in. Do I bring Leliana? Indeed. I think so. Claude should go to this meeting of importance. Why do we want to bring Morgan again? I feel like I brought her last time too. I could bring Wynn. Let's bring Shale. Yes. I think that's better. All right. Let's be off. We do it from here? Indeed. Things are about to get interesting and different. Nobody needs a level by chance, right? I think so. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? Yeah! Woo! A fine... Performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. 
Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? <laughs> First off, Kaelin, let's talk about loyalty to Alistair, your king. I knew Merrick. And if he had another son, he would have acknowledged it openly. In fact, none of us had heard of any other heirs to the throne until you arrived, Warden. <laughs> I doubt that's accidental. Tell me, Logan. you tell me you expect us to believe a man right before my eyes who sold elves as slaves. What? Sold elves? Explain this. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the Blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the Elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. Oh yes, all good of Ferelden. Well, if you wanted to do everything for the good of Ferelden, Logan, then you would be supporting Merrick's son, Alistair. Indeed. Do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? What have I done? I protected her from her own father. You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Kaelin's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. The Queen speaks the truth. So... The Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! The Warden. I'm with the Warden. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Loghain, it appears that the land's meat is against you. Now, do the right thing and step down as you will. Or it will be forced upon you. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. 
None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? <laughs> Perhaps if you call off your men, this whole thing could be settled honorably. Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so. But Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man True. is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms in single combat until one party yields. And we who are assembled will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself or have you a champion? I think I'll take you on myself. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. And your surrender will be accepted. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live. After everything he's done, Kill him already! Wait, there is another option. The Tairn is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. You want him make him a warden? Why? There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not. Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? Hmm. Oh, this is a pickle. What would Squashy Maru do? Would he do at this point be like, no, we just kill him then? Or let him go through the joining where he also just might die. Oh, I'm so <laughs> I, I so don't know what to do. What would Squashy Maru do here? What do you think he would do? You think he'd put him through the joining or just kill him? Probably just kill him, right? Yeah, I'm thinking that too. No, Logan has to die for his crimes. 
Letting him become a warden is too much of a reward. A man of his talent. His deeds. His... Cunning. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora. Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. I will not be the one to do it. Alistair, you were the one that wanted him to die so badly. Get to it. I will. I owe that to Duncan. Go on. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? Mm -hmm. So much for our plan to rule together. If Alistair would rather not have the throne, I am more than willing to take it. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? Let me just speak to Alistair first. Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring teams. Alistair, I want you to become king, and I've told you this already. However, you are still a Grey Warden as well, but do you think you could become king? Do you think you're ready to become king? Are there people who are ready for that sort of thing? I but don't know. I guess if it comes down to it, I'll do my best. Mm. Oh, I think my stomach just twisted up in a knot or something. <laughs> And tell me, why would you want me to choose Honora? She seems to want it anyway, but I know I don't. So, yes? Maybe? I don't know. Really? Honora, come here. Certainly. Why the hell should I choose you? Warden, there's no doubt on this subject. Alistair would be a disastrous king. I can lead for Eldon. I have proven this. You've also thrown me under the bus one too many times. And only the one time, but it was too many nonetheless. Well, I think I'm ready to choose. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? Ah. I believe that Alistair and Enora. I think they plan to marry and rule jointly, I believe is what they said, yes? Plans change. Nothing could convince me to marry my father's murderer. Oh, that's unfortunate then. Well, Alistair will just take the throne himself then, and be off with you. This is where I wake up, usually. Or everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Well, it seems, Alistair, you might have to do something about her, because now she's against you. What kind of something? We cannot think? leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. Indeed. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well, then. Guards! Take her away! Yeah. 
Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um, <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Oh, it's a disaster. Ugh. Why did I put him on the damn throne? Um, j just tell him what to do, Alistair. Just make it quick. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it. See, that's better. We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. Oh. So it is. Yo. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm I still... know. I'm going to be the king. You're welcome. You're welcome. I knew you would love this. Um, are you going to thank me? Hmm? Uh, is a thank you an order? Oh, I knew it was. Thank you? You want me to thank you? How could you do this to me? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I thought we were friends. You knew how I felt about this, yet you went ahead and did it anyway. Why? Tell me, Alistair, would you prefer I gave Anora the throne instead where she would have fucking beheaded you? Yes, well, no. She would have executed me, so yeah. that would have been bad. Mm -hmm. I just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? No. I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Yes, absolutely. I'll be there to help you. Of course I would. Yes. I did. There was never a question about it. You and I are in this together. I can be your councilman. I can counsel you. But you obviously will make all the decisions. Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Indeed. Hey, we leveled up. Or somebody leveled up. Alistair definitely disapproves of that, but he definitely would have died. Considering uh, he just murdered um, uh, Logan. However... If I would have done, if I would have done it instead, she would have tried to murder me. Yeah, it would have been all bad. I'm sure it would have gone down that route. There's no way it wouldn't have, you know. What the hell do we want? I'm kind of in this state of being where I don't know what to actually acquire anymore. Because I got all everything I want, pretty much. I mean, I could get, like, some of this other stuff, but, like, I'm not going to use it. We'll just get this for now. Uh, nobody else needs a level. Which is good. And I think I'm max leveled. Wasn't I 20 before? <laughs> cool. Alright. We should probably talk to everybody real quick. Before we uh, head on to the final onslaught, apparently. I can't believe we're already here. The final onslaught. Kind of crazy. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to everybody one last time and then we'll end the episode. Right here, old pal. Wow, great. Um, I'd like to know more about you. What about? Nothing. All right. Great. He burps in my face, and then we have nothing to talk about. Should have expected that from him. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Mm -hmm. I will answer to the... Nope. Inol Leliana. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something mm -hmm. I can help with? Uh, yes? Nope. You know, I could get to like this. 
The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Your wish? Whatever you'd like to ask. Oh, here we go. You care to tell me about the last mission now? Yes, I suppose it is time. You have been a good friend to me after all. There is no reason to be silent. There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might leave the crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. Tell me what happened. You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant. I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed, and I bragged of my conquests often, both as an assassin and lover. And then what happened? One of the crow masters grew tired of my boasting. My bid for an incredibly difficult mark was accepted, much to my surprise. A wealthy merchant with many guards and completely silent. Talison agreed to be part of my team, as well as an elven lass named Rina. She was a marvel. Tough, smooth, wicked. Eyes that gleamed like justice. Everything I thought I desired. And you fell in love, then. Rina was special. I had closed off my heart, I thought. But she touched something within me. It frightened me. When Talison revealed to me that Rina had accepted a bribe from the merchant, told him of our plan, I readily agreed that she needed to pay the price and allowed Talison to kill her. Rina begged me not to. On her knees, with tears in her eyes, she told me that she loved me and had not betrayed us. I laughed in her face and said that even if it were true, I didn't care. Wow, that was pretty cool of you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Talison cut her throat and I watched her bleed as she stared up at me. I spat on her for betraying the crows. When Talison and I finally assassinated the merchant, we found the true source of his information. Rina had not betrayed us, after all. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to tell the crows what we had done, our mistake. Talison convinced me not to. He said it would be a foolish waste. So we reported that Rina had died in the attempt. We needn't have bothered. The crows knew what we had done. The master who disliked me told me so to my face. He said the crows knew, and they didn't care. And one day, my turn would come. So you felt guilty? I felt empty. I felt as if I was nothing. I felt as if she had been nothing. You once asked why I wanted to leave the crows. In truth, what I wanted was to die. What better way than to throw myself at one of the fabled Grey Wardens? And then, this happened. And here I am. Tell me, Zevron, do you still want to die? No. What I want is to begin again. Whatever it is I sought by leaving Antiva, I think I have found it. I owe you a great deal. You owe me nothing. Let us return to your mission, shall we? Suddenly, I do not feel like standing about. That was cool. Who's left? Shale? I doubt Shale will say anything. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. You're right. It doesn't have better things to do. Yeah, I thought we'd just talk. On then. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? Hmm. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak, then. Oh, hello. What did you mean about the fiends in Saharon? Ours wear the faces of men. Are they like the Darkspawn, then? No. Ah. Even the most cunning emissaries of the Archdemon cannot pass for men. Darkspawn, abominations, plagues, and storms. Men are far more dangerous than these. One moment of betrayal can bring more ruin than an earthquake. You know this. True. 
What did they do? They are Talvashoth. They say they are grey ones. True in the knowledge of themselves. They are gaping holes where men used to be. Nothing can fill them. Then what do they want? I don't know. There was a village in the mountains of Saharon. Farmers. They grew cinnamon and nutmeg trees in perfectly ordered rows. There would always be one person waiting. A foreman, a harvester, rank didn't matter. Often they would say nothing. Simply watch as we worked to examine the empty house. A new one each time. That had once been the home of a colleague, a friend. We always made a point of searching. Now and then a body would turn up in a river eaten by rain and crows. More often we found nothing. Even in the worst parts of the jungle, the villagers would send someone with us to see the tiniest piece of bone or cloth. Anything contained the possibility of their lost friend. Must we speak of this? We could be fighting something. No, I think we're good. As you wish. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? So... She got nothing to say, huh? What comes, my friend? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question how... Okay. Looks like that seems to be everybody. Well, I think this is a good point where we can end today's episode of Dragon Age Origins. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while, and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube, where the channel's right there, and so is this Let's Play. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified for when a new episode comes out. On the next episode, um, I'm planning on going back to camp first thing, just to check on anything we can sell to the dwarves, maybe transfer some runes over, and then we're going to head to the final battle to Redcliffe. Should be proving cool and interesting, and I hope I'll see you then. Goodbye.